Following two straight NCAA tournament appearances, the bar has certainly been raised for North Dakota State men's basketball. This season, the Herd are out to a 13 and 6 start and looking for more following back to back wins against South Dakota and South Dakota State. The Bison haven't lost in 12 days, their last loss coming January 9th by a single point at Earl Roberts, but this time they're fighting game in and game out to capture a third straight Summit League title and continue the trend that Bison Hoops has been on the last couple of years. But whether the team is playing in the Sweet 16 or at Shields Arena in Summit League play, Dave Richmond and the Green and Gold will always be reaching to get to the next level. You know, my standards are always changing. Then if we get to one standard, I want to get better. And if we were sitting in here 19-0 uh, and 0, an average margin of victory of, of 20 points, it wouldn't be good enough. We've got to continue to find a way, especially with the young group, to, can, to continue to get better and raise that level of a standard every single day. I think we're still a little bit of ways. I mean, there's still quite a bit of improvement that we can make, and that's what we work on every day, and we know that it's a process. So each game we just try to get a little bit better at the little things. Will the Bison complete the tic-tac-toe and get three in a row? It's going to be a tall task. Bison and Mastodons of Fort Wayne in action right now. Early in the contest, Dons hold the early 7-6 advantage. Up I-29, the Fighting Hawks women's squad is experiencing a bit of a high right now, splitting with the two Montana schools out west last weekend. But this is a team that has gotten out to a 2-4 and four start in conference play. But no need to panic, Hawks Nation. Tonight, a 5-11 Northern Arizona team comes to the Betty and Saturday. A 3-13 Southern Utah team comes to Grand Forks. But the Lady Hawks say now is not the time to be complacent. Well, NAU is a very, uh, very physical team. They get up and down the floor really well. Uh, uh, probably their biggest thing, their biggest attribute is they like to transition. And they also like to press. So we're going to have to be able to handle the press and defend their transition offense. I mean, they're scrappy teams. They're, I mean, they're very... They push the ball and they trap, and so they do all that stuff on defense well. Um, we're just going to have to make sure that we keep our composure and play within each other. Tonight in the grandest of forks, UND can start the climb back up the Big Sky Ladder. 7 p.m. tip-off at the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center. Highlights at 9 tonight and afterwards on KVRR.com as well. It hasn't been the royalist of rumbles for NDSU wrestling thus far in 2016, but this weekend is a chance for the herd to Toss the start of the season over the top rope. Look for some momentum going into the heart of their very first Big 12 Conference slate. The Bison have lost four of their first five duels to start the year. Their first win came Sunday in a 29-13 triumph over Northern Colorado. But this is a team that doesn't look into their record and what has happened thus far. Because as far as they're concerned, they're on a winning streak. And feeling good approaching their duel with Air Force tomorrow night. And they're expecting the entire lineup to step up. They're going to bring it a good team. Uh, I think it's just going to it's going to come down to close matches like my match or the other matches that we had. We're going to have to win the close ones and I think if we do, I think we're going to I think we can win. We need somebody to step up and, and do something uh, do something big every match and uh, you know every every week it's got to be someone new and someone some you know everyone's got to step up and compete and that's uh, that's really where we're at is gaining that experience and that competition and and having our guys rise to the occasion. Tomorrow night, the BBF will lay down the mats for a duel with Air Force. The Falcons are 5-2, and two, so a win for the Bison would be huge going forward. Matches start at 7 p.m. Plenty of highlights coming up tonight. Basketball, hockey, we got it all.